we we're told that it's important that we switch our electrification to renewables, that, uh, that uh, electricity should be coming from solar and wind. Curiously, the politicians seem to avoid suggesting that electricity should come from hydro or from nuclear. What, why do you think they make this distinction? Well, they are trying to appeal to the dark greens and in the conservative side of politics, why even bother about these people? And they're trying to say, let's let let us assume that wind and solar energy are free. Well, they're not. There's a cost of capital. There's a cost of changing our grids. And to build a solar plant, you emit more carbon dioxide than it will save. To build a wind plant, you will uh, save more carbon dioxide by that going nuclear. Um, but if you build a wind plant, you put out a huge amount of carbon dioxide to build it and service it, and it just doesn't add up. In terms of the energy that you get from solar and from wind, the amount of energy you produce is less than the amount of energy you use to make it. And the third thing is, of course, you contaminate the planet enormously with really toxic chemicals from both solar and from wind. And um, these energy systems kill off wildlife and kill off scenery. So they're not a very good idea, but it's a political sop to try to appeal to green voters. Nuclear, of course, does emit some carbon dioxide, and that's for the making of the concrete for the foundations. And then after that, the small amount of maintenance that you need for um, hydrocarbon driven vehicles going to and from the plant is very, very small. So politicians are not appealing to logic. They're not using the numbers that engineers and scientists will give them. What they're doing is trying to win votes for the next three year term. They don't care about whether we go broke. They don't care whether their actions create another Argentina. They don't care whether pensioners cannot afford electricity. All they want is to be re-elected, and if they think, and their advisors generally who are 23 years old and have got a, a huge amount of life experience, if these advisors are telling them that you've got to go green, then they'll go green to stay in power. So this has got nothing to do with logic. It's got nothing to do with science. It's got nothing to do with engineering. It's to do with getting re-elected and hoping a light green and dark green vote will change the balance of power. Is there anything sinister, do you think, in the fact that of the renewables which are in political favour, that is solar and wind, the country which seems to be making the greatest profit out of these is communist China, and the ones which they seem to regret, completely discard, that is nuclear and uh, hydro, are not ones where the communists, the Beijing communists, are making an enormous profit. Am I being well, uh, I think it's, uh, suspicious? I, th I think it's very stupid. Uh, I'm very suspicious. Uh, I think it is sinister, the end result of uh, policies which have not been thought through. And the end result is, why should we, we be rewarding people who claim to be our enemies? We, we should have energy. Uh, that comes from Australia, from Australian coal, from Australian uranium, from Australian water. Uh, we shouldn't be making ourselves dependent upon solar panels coming out of China or wind turbines coming out of China. This is just crash stupidity.